no intro, let's start with an easy one, an automated roadmap generator. Think of it as a tool that helps new developers create personalized learning roadmaps based on their interests. Users can choose non-coder friendly topics like designing websites or automating tasks and the platform generates a clear step-by-step -step guide tailored to them. You can even collaborate with learning platforms to mention or promote their courses, which is a win-win for both parties. For the future plan, one option could be to integrate AI to analyze user preferences instead of relying on just multiple choice questions. It feels more engaging and personalized. Here is one pro tip, don't over research similar projects, a bit of inspiration from UI designs or core features is fine, but too much digging will leave you feeling like better versions already exist and it can be demotivating. So get a few inspirations and start building. Now it's time for open source. Contributing is rewarding but not often in a visible way, why not change that? Imagine a leaderboard where developers earn points and badges for their contributions. Whether it's fixing a bug, adding documentation or implementing a feature, contributors get rewarded, motivating more developers to get involved. One potential direction could be, instead of making it global leaderboard, you could allow your project to be integrated to other projects, which makes every open source unique with their own leaderboards. In terms of handling the scoring part, a good starting point could be pulling data from the GitHub API to track contributions. I'm just here to plant the seed and it's up to you to make it grow. Now let's improve coding interviews. While platforms like LeadCode are great for practicing questions, they lack a key feature, live interviews. Your project could let developers act as either interviewers or interviewees, improving skills on both sides. Points and badges are always a good option to keep users engaged. To handle real-time communication, you can use Zego Cloud API for video and voice calls. Their SDKs and APIs make it easy to integrate live video interviews and voice chat rooms. They also offer ready-to-use UI kits so you are not spending hours building basic components from scratch. For the future plans of your project, you can integrate group calls and chat features, which Zego Cloud also supports so all tools in one place. If you are planning to build mobile slash desktop versions in the future, they have support for Android, iOS, macOS, Windows, and even Linux. You can also use it with popular frameworks like React Native, Flutter, and even game engines like Unity. I was able to create one-to-one -one call with just a few clicks on their platform. Also, I must say that they have done a great job with a clean UI design, which I appreciate. Sign up for the platform to get 9000 extra free minutes using my link in the description. Now for the project itself, you will have to set clear rules and standards to maintain collaborative and safe community for your platform and to avoid turning your project into something chaotic. Next up, a real-time multiplayer quiz game. Platforms like developer quiz side are fun, but solo quizzing can get boring. Why not make it more exciting with real-time competition? Players could race to answer coding related questions and rank up points. Think of it like Menti but for developers. You can use a similar structure of developer quiz site where users contribute quiz questions, plus it could attract a lot of new contributors as well. For the future plans, you could even create topic specific rooms, leaderboards and achievements to, at the end of the day, make learning fun and addictive. Finally, let's talk about organizing code. Developers love their code snippets because it saves a lot of time, but organizing them can be a challenge. You could create a platform to let users organize their snippets by their language, categories or tags and find them quickly with a search. Wait, I am already working on this one? Check out this video or visit the GitHub repo for more. So this idea is off the table, you will have to take one of other four ideas. Good luck with your coding journey, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.